आई वेलकम एवरीबडी फ्रॉम माय ऑनलाइन क्लास माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई थिंक यू आर ऑल ओके आई एम मोहम्मद शाहिनुल इस्लाम असिस्टेंट टीचर हरिमोहन गवर्नमेंट हाई स्कूल चापाई नवाबगंज टुडे आई विल टेक ए क्लास ऑफ इंग्लिश सेकंड पेपर फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन एंड टेन इन द इन माय प्रीवियस क्लास आई डिस्कस्ड द बेसिक रूल्स ऑफ नरेशन नाउ टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द रूल्स ऑफ एसर्टिव एंड इंटरगेटिव sentence the rules of narration of assertive and interrogative sentences this is the second part of my english second paper class and this is the second part of narration now let us see what we can do today by the end of the lesson the students will be able to talk about the rules of narration of assertive sentences talk about the rules of narration of interrogative sentences and since the form of narration of assertive and interrogative sentences okay assertive sentence do you know what assertive what assertive sentence means okay assertive sentence in, in sentences describes events we can sense the narration of assertive sentences by following the structure like this at first subject 1 subject 1 means the subject of reporting verb plus say said or tell or told if object if you if you have object after the verb then use the transitive verb tell plus that so if you uh, so that used as conjunction plus subject rv that means subject of the reported speech plus verb verb here the verb of the reported speech so direct narration let us see the example sabina said i am reading a poem so i am reading a poem this is an example of assertive sentence how can we make it indirect sabina said that after said there is no object so say it is used that she was reading a poem another example belal said to me i have seen you in the new market yeah belal told me so i have used told in place of said to because after said to there is an object so belal told me that i is the first person so i follows the subject belal so i has become third person belal told me that have been is the present perfect tense so obviously it will be past perfect tense so belal told me that he had seen me in the new market okay next rule remember one thing assertive sentence may indicate universal truth so universal truth will not be sensed in indirect speech i mean the uh, tense of universal truth will not be sensed it will always remains it will always remain in the present tense my father said look at the image this is a picture of a snake so snakes generally indicates evil things my father said evil always remains evil so this is an universal truth the people who are good or who are not honest who are very bad always try to do some kind of evil words okay my father said so here we will simply use a conjunction that my father said that evil always remains evil 
okay another example of an the teacher said the sinners will suffer in the long run. So sinners, the people who commit sins, will suffer at the end. So look at the example. So I have set an image of sufferings. So here the teacher said that the sinner will suffer in the long run. So just that. So I have used only that. So tense will remain same and a conjunction is used. Okay. So this is an universal truth. This is not of course present indefinite tense, it is present it is it is future indefinite tense. Next must will be changed it to had to. Look at the example. She said to me, I must take medicine. So here must will be changed into had to. So she told me that she had to take medicine. Is the point clear? I think it is clear. Let us see. There is exception to this rule. He said, I must respect my parents. He said that he must respect his parents. Here, must remain same. Why? Because this must indicates an action which is applicable always. So if must in the reported speech indicates an action which is applicable always, that must remains unchanged. So respecting parents is not a temporary work. It is always applicable. We must always respect our parents. So, so this kind of this must remains unchanged. Now there is an exercise of assertive sentence. So you will do this exercise at home. Okay, now another sentence, interrogative sentence. So interrogative sentence, what is interrogative sentence? In so interrogative sentence ends with a question mark. This is a question. So look at the example. Savina said to Nina, do you take tea every day? Okay, this is an example of interrogative sentence. So how we can change the narration of interrogative sentence? At first, subject one. Subject one that means subject of the reporting verb, then in place of side 2, we use as for inquire of according to tense plus object plus if. If the, if the question is verbal question, then if is used. Or if the question is doublish question, then if is not necessary. Just use doublish word. So verbal question, that means the question beginning with verb plus subject RP that means subject of the reporting reported speech plus verb. RP that means verb of the reported speech. Okay. Example in direct narration. Sabina asked Nina. So I have used asked in plus of side two. If she took tea every day. So I have used if in plus of inverted comma. Another example. Look at the image. Hasu asked his teacher, what will you discuss in the next class? So this is an example of double H question. So I have used 
that doubles what? But I have not used if. Has to ask his teacher what he would discuss in the next class. So, doubles word remains same. Uh, one thing you should remember is that in the direct narration, the question is direct. But in the indirect narration, the question is not direct. Here, at first doubles word, then subject, then verb. So, indirect narration always is assertive sentence. Okay, now here some exercise of in interrogative sentence. So you will do this exercise at home. Okay, dear students, I have you I have discussed the rules of assertive sentence, the rules of interrogative sentence, and I have given you some exercise. So five five sentences of assertive sentence and five sentences of interrogative sentences. So you will do this exercise at home and when our school opens we will, I will check your answers. Okay, I think you have understood the rules of narration of assertive and interrogative sentences. Okay, no more today. So thank you very much. Stay at home and stay safe.